Hi everybody, this is going to be ultra short today, it being a holiday and everything, and I just want to put a few videos out real quick with some information. And I'm testing an idea of shortening my videos. Uh, the United Kingdom sending basically a, th a thousand troops, tanks, and artillery to the Baltic uh, to reinforce NATO. This is a big deal. Lots of, I'm certain they already have people there, so they're just basically sending more. Um... Originally, this did say 10,000, but for some reason, it's now shortened down to 1,000 troops, tanks, and artillery to the Baltics in NATO buildup. The United Kingdom will offer 1,000 troops backed in tanks and artillery to Baltic republics as part of uh, NATO's military buildup against the Russian border. So this is what's going on in the world, folks. Um, now, here's a, here's a good thing somebody told me. Somebody said, you know, this is a perfect ruse to build it up on Russia's doorstep. But what do you guys think about an idea suggesting that they're building up on Russia's doorstep so that they can go in and clean up the Muslim invasion? Somebody said, you know, the false front is actually right there in front of everybody and nobody sees it. And they think it's clear as day that this is what it might actually come to. Give a false front and a false reason as to why you're there. And then, like in Star Wars, where the clone troops turned, I think it was Order 66 or whatever it was, they then turn from Russia's doorstep and they go into uh, Europe and clean Europe's Muslim uh, refugee problem up. And I got to say, that's not a bad idea, especially if the liberal logic can quickly be flipped and allow, allow Russia to come straight through as well as being there on the ground. Not a bad idea, guys. Some logic to it. I doubt it either way, but some logic to it nonetheless.